Where's Chips here? And we are back with Twisted Wonderland. I'm hoping. Key word in the census is hoping. That I haven't fucked up. And this will actually be correct when I put it up. Unlike the last episode, which was messed up. And yes, I could have recorded the last episode. But I'm kind of on a crunch right now. Because my dumbass decided to wait till last minute to do this. So I gotta do like another few episodes of blah. Ugh. Hold up. Do I even have sound on this thing? Yes and no. Another dream. For painting my roses red, someone will lose his head. Your majesty, if anyone wants to blame, have mercy, your grace. It was the ace. So it was you. Uh, no, it was the two. Then he will pay. It was the three, I swear. Enough with this. Off with all your heads. Oh, he... Yay. He he he. A fitting end. Color you can't mend. Everyone knows the roses should be red. One isn't anyone's up the queen, I guess. That's what we're going with. Sorry, just checking the thing. Little floating ball. Back in the circle. Wake up. My birthday party is today. Actually, hold up. Why is it so bright? I don't know if you guys notice. No, I'll dim it later. It's just super bright for me right now, and I don't know why. Another strange room? Hmm, it sounds like you have a visitor. Good morning. Did you enjoy your sleepover? Did you bond over pillow fights and card games? Oh, good morning, Carter. We did play some cards, yeah. But only Old Maid, because that was the only one Grim knows how to play. And I still got the Old Maid every time, dang it! Let's just say Grim doesn't have a very good poker face. Well, you should get one of the tarts we made yesterday and go apologize to Riddle. And you should probably hurry, because after the trouble yesterday, we're a little short-handed. What does that mean? Don't worry, I toast got it under control. Anyway, off to the party we go. Cause Riddle is a fucking tyrant! Alright, so I'll hand over the tart and say sorry then. Hey, it's about time I got back. Good to see me. And me. Looking good as always, me. What? There are two Carters? Are you guys identical twins? Nope. Don't have any brothers. What I do have is my signature skip spell, signature spell, split card. It lets me make magic loop duplicates of myself. This that must be how Carter kept coming after we beat him over and over again yesterday. Welcome home, darlings. Good to see you. You're late. I was worried sick. The one thing I like about this is that, like, for Carter, just to kind of show that there's multiples of them, they kind of put them all in different outfits. It's, it's neat. Wow, there's more of them? Jay. Oh, God, I hate fucking Carter's speech. I fucking do. J-S-Y-K. I'm actually the real Carter. Making some duplicates is super exhausting, so I can't maintain them for long. Anyway, if we're... Late head, heads will row, and since we're several people short, we will need your help. But when this is over, I promise I'll take you straight to Riddle. What, more roses? And here we go again. Get the lead out, peeps. We need to get started. Ugh, fuck, which one is this one?
Let me shift around. I think I know which one of this one I when I hate it if I'm right. Uh, why are you doing this the hard way? Whining won't get it done. Buckle down. Jump. Update my magic cap. JK. Or she could. Fuck it is. Red, red, red. Oh, smooth move. We got it done and out. Time for the first. And you'll be master at this all the work of moi. Even going, even Grim's going all on in this one. Thank you, Sue. Does the I guess he's spitting fire. It's adorable. One more to go, Real, be red. Wow, that wasn't easy, but we still got it done. So, what's the verdict, Carter? We better love it. You wanna know if it'll make the grade, huh? Okay. Survey says, looking fresh, freshman, go star in. Actually, let me lower this, because this hurt my ears, man. Right now I have like, he like plug headphones in, so it sounds louder to me. Hopefully me lowering it doesn't, act, um, like make it sound lower to you. But we'll find out, no, won't we? Hard work undone. Pat, well, this is going better than before. Looking good. Oh, it's almost time. Okay, all you you sexy body doubles, that's a wrap. Aye, aye, cray, cray. God, I hate God, I hate him so much. All hail our leader, the Red Sovereign himself, House Warden Riddle. We salute you, House Warden Riddle. Hmm. The garden's roses are red. The tablecloths are white. This seems to, this seems a proper unbirthday indeed. Is there a dorm mouse asleep in a teapot as it should be? Of course. And should it become necessary, we've also prepared the jam to spread on his nose. Very good. Wow, those are some fancy duds. Those are heart hearts. Hard sab 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 hard sabbles dorm clothes aren't they fierce at the forefront of fashion and they look great on magicka one of the queen's rules mandates formal dress on party days as a show of kindness from your beloved mentor i'll help you coordinate your outfits and this their dorm uniform whoa oh, look at Grim with his little bow. I love him so much. He's so cute. I wonder if we got like a. Like one of the uniforms too. Probably. Looking sharp. Well, so cool. You all look fantastic. Now let's tear this party up. And don't forget to give Riddle the tart. 
Before we begin the crochet tournament, let us make a toast. Does everyone have their teacups? On this most significant un un asupius asupius of days, I will bid all in attendance a very merry on birthday. To a very merry on birthday. Ace, this is your chance. Right. Uh, house warden, sir? Uh, it's you, that tart thief. Yeah, so I wanted to apologize for eating that tart. We made you a new tart to replace it. Hmm? What kind of tart is it? I'm so glad you asked. It's a chestnut tart. And I swear we weren't stingy with the chestnuts. A chestnut tart? How do I put up? I want to see something real quick. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can kind of see his hand, but not really. Okay, yeah. So he doesn't wear any gloves. Neat. Okay, sorry. I needed to check something because I was like, I, like, I'm writing a fan fiction and I, or attempting to write a fan fiction, or I have an idea for a fan fiction, more say, and I needed to know something because I, um, but yeah. The. So I was right. Ace doesn't wear any gloves. This It's very important to know if he has gloves. Or not. Ow. Because then I would ruin part of my something. Like a, a deep, an important detail. The Queen of Hearts rule 562. One must never bring a chestnut tart to an unbirthday tea party. This is an utter fragrant rule violation. Do you understand what you've done? You ruin an otherwise perfect unbirthday. Rule 562? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just remembered something. And I was like, oh, yeah. That was what I was like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I remember that fan fiction. <laughs> anyway. Um. <laughs> There, basic. No, I picked the uh, how many rules are there because I fucking don't remember. There are eight hundred and ten rules in all, and house wardens. I can of course recite each and every one of them. Wow, T I L, this could be bad. Trey, were you aware of this? I was only able to memorize the first three hundred and fifty or so. Well, we really bossed this one big time. As house warden of a dorm established to honor the queens of hearts rigor, I cannot ignore this. Destroy that offending tart and melee and throw those root breakers out of the door. Riddle is a tyrant. Needs to be shot. I mean, not honestly shot. He just needs, he needs some correcting is what he needs. Okay, so it doesn't really fucking matter because it's like everything. Riddle fighting riddle, baby? I don't know. Oh. I'm just scrolling to see who I have here. Uh. Hmm. I need a wide range of things. I'll leave that be. Uh. Where? I'll check that later. Hmm. I need more fire.
That should do me somewhere. Whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Um. Whoa, hold up. Is that one of your rules too? Yeah, if you you want, want the tarp gone, I'll eat it. Housewarden, allow me to, apolo to apologize. I was the one who suggested making a chestnut tart. It, I was a part of that too. We have no idea where there was a rule about it. The making of a tart is not the issue. The issue is to bring it here today. That is the transgression. How can he be so mean after he works so hard? Yeah, all you do is cite one stupid rule after another. You sound totally foolish. What did you call me? Foolish? Everyone stop. Don't dig this hole any deeper. And Riddle, please try to remember that these are our new students who've only been here a few days. Nah, bro. I've got a shovel and I'm digging. <laughs> Throw away a tart to obey some insane rule is about as foolish as it gets. I agree with Ace. Of course, I understand that rules do need to be followed, but this is going much too far. Are you attempting to debate me? Bold move, but I'll bite. By breaking even the smallest rule, you're, you are throwing a wi wide, throwing wide the gate of anarchy. Everyone knows you're afraid of getting your magic sealed away, but you know what? This is insane, right? No, we're, uh, well, isn't it? Hold up. Um, shit. I need to do something real quick, so I'm going to pause this real quick. Not that you guys will notice, but whatever. 